Hi, Jacqueline Foster here. So excited to be back, continuing to share my journeys on the pole at Sheila Kelly's S Factor and sharing all those experiences that I'm bringing from class to my life and everything I'm learning in my life and bringing to class. And today what I'd like to share is an experience that I've actually had out of class <laughs> that I've been experimenting with bringing into class. And this is around working with and disengaging from the inner saboteur, <laughs> that part of ourselves that just wants to shut us down when we're on that path to greatness. And we all can imagine this situation where we're about to do something that we're really excited about and or we had been really excited about, but it's coming really close to the time to engage. Perhaps we're getting ready to drive out the door. Perhaps it's a day of a, an, a class that we had signed up four weeks ago that we initially had so much excitement about. And now as the time is drawing near, we're starting to maybe make excuses about why we can't go or why we don't want to go. Perhaps there's not enough time, it's not important enough, we're not going to be good enough, all these things that creep up. So what I'd like to talk about today, because this is something we all work with, right? We all have this inner saboteur that we need to learn to to engage and disengage from in order to move forward and in order to make progress. So I'd like to share two, two things with you today. And one is from a woman I got the opportunity to coach with recently and she's absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. Her name is Karen Lovely. And I'm gonna be putting her information below, so please check her out. One of the things that she told me and really taught me this concept around is when we have those doubts that come up when I'm a, when I'm thinking about doing something but I'm being reminded through my thoughts, oh, you're not good enough to do that. Who's going to listen to you, okay? What you can do in that moment as all that garbage is coming up, imagine that all these thoughts, this inner voice is like, on the stand in a court of law and really ask yourself, you know, would, would this stand up in a court of law? If this, these thoughts, you know, were being interrogated by a lawyer, would you, would you get away with this? Would you have any physical fact or evidence that anything you're saying is true? Okay, and this, in my, in getting ready to share this with you, this also reminded me of another thing called the work by Byron Katie and you can for this you can just look up the work.com and one of the things that she shares in her work that she shares with us is this concept of asking yourself you know when thoughts come up when the mind starts to engage is this true and not just is this true is this a hundred percent true so if I'm telling myself oh you're not go good enough or you're not this is there is there any way that that could be a hundred percent true no no there's no evidence of that and if you're not sure get a friend that you tr that you trust someone a mentor someone you can talk to who can help you coach on this because it's so important to realize that so much of what we tell ourselves there's no evidence of it to be true and the more that we can teach ourselves and work with other people and find a space where we can stop those voices where we can realize that it's BS that it's not true and then choose something different the more that we're going to be able to move forward create momentum so I highly encourage you the next time you are catching yourself with these voices to either think about these in two different ways, whichever resonates most with you, is imagining that these thoughts, you know, that you're on the stand and you're being interrogated by a lawyer and he wants to know, you know, how, do, what's your proof? What's your proof of what you're saying? Do you have any evidence? Do you have any real evidence that's concrete? Okay. And the second is asking this, these simple couple questions. Is this true? And is this 100% true? Do you have physical proof? Okay, these are really important questions to ask. Okay, and I recommend again if you're stuck and you're feeling like, oh, maybe that's true, one, if you have to think about it, <laughs> it's probably not true. And two, you know, if it's something that's coming up for you and you are struggling with, 
talk to someone about it, get guidance, especially if and when you realize this is a pattern that you've been repeating. You, we want to get help with these things and really end these repeating patterns as quick as possible. So try these techniques and really the more that we practice this the easier it gets and the more we're able to do it faster a lot of this time a lot of these things i'm realizing for myself is initially you know it's there it can be challenging to catch yourself and it can you can get farther into the story before you realize what you're doing but the more that you do this you can catch your stories quicker realize that they're bs and choose something different so I hope this has been helpful. It's been so wonderful sharing with you. And I really look forward to sharing more in the future. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day.